Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. A new scientific paper describes an ongoing mystery astronomers are facing in the atmosphere of Venus. In 2006, the European Space Agency's satellite Venus Express arrived at Venus and recorded the astonishing images of a twin cyclone above the planet's south pole. For reasons that mainstream astronomers have yet to explain, the structure of the so-called superstorm constantly evolves, and the vortex itself is thought to be a permanent feature. However, this puzzle may not be the greatest challenge the extraordinary Venusian atmosphere poses to planetary scientists. Scientists have found from spacecraft orbiting Venus for the last six years that there is an unexplained twin cyclone at the planet's south pole. And various headlines are given to this. Venus cyclone constantly changes in planet's bizarre atmosphere, scientists find. Venus vortices go for chaotic multi-story strolls around the poles, says another. And a third says whirlwinds wander around Venus's south pole. Now, there's a mystery that's been known for many years now about Venus's atmosphere, and that is that it rotates 60 times faster than the planet, and there is no known driving mechanism that can perform this amazing feat. Now, in the Electric Universe model of the solar system, there is an input to all of the planets which it goes unrecognized by atmospheric scientists, and that is the electrical input from the sun's circuit. And when you have electricity being fed into a circuit, it can drive motors and it can cause rotation. Now, in the case of Venus, it's obvious that something is driving that atmosphere 60 times faster than the planet. And it's not coming from inside the planet, even though it is super hot. And it's not coming from the sun, because if you look at the out outermost planets of the solar system, you will find that the fastest winds in the solar system are on the outermost planet, Neptune, where winds have been clocked at a thousand kilometers an hour. So there's obviously a driving mechanism that just doesn't feature in any theory or model of how planets' atmospheres work. And this has significance also for the Earth and the discussions about climate change. There's an energy input which isn't being factored in to the climate change argument. The report states the vortex is never destroyed, but it evolves continuously between morphologies or shapes. The cause for the constant evolution remains a puzzle that the team still hopes to solve. Well, the thing is that the fact that the morphology changes, but the basic vortex is never destroyed, is primary evidence for the fact that it is a twin filament electric current that is impinging on the poles of Venus. The same type of phenomenon seen at Venus's south pole is found elsewhere in the solar system and is a predictable feature of the electric universe. In 2005, when scientists using the Keck Observatory discovered a warm vortex at the south pole of Saturn, Thornhill made a prediction that could only seem preposterous from a conventional viewpoint. He wrote, The electric universe predicts, experimentum crucis, that both poles should be hot not one hot and the other cold. In 2008, NASA's Cassini scientists were astonished to discover a mysterious hotspot at Saturn's North Pole. This was astonishing because the freezing North Pole had been deprived of sunlight for over 12 years. The interesting thing about the form of the tornadoes at both poles because earlier such a twin tornado was discovered at the North Pole of Venus. In 2005 I wrote about Saturn saying that the hot South Pole would be found to be mirrored by the Northern Pole which had been in darkness for 14 years and that that would be a crucial test of the electrical power input model. You see the power or the electrical connection of the Sun to the planets occurs generally at the poles. In the Earth's case, we see that in the form of auroras. And when the Sun is particularly active, you will see powerful auroras which extend down to lower latitudes. Also, you will notice in auroras that the movement is remarkably changeable and sudden. Now, this is one of the features of the twin cyclones at the poles of Venus. 
Now, the other thing I pointed out in the earlier article was that when the twin vortex was discovered at the North Pole of Venus, it had the same shape as would be expected from an electrical current connection to the pole of Venus. Now, the reason I say that is that plasma cosmologists and plasma scientists know that electric currents flow in a plasma, that is the thin conducting medium that occupies the entire solar system and the entire universe for that matter. It is the conducting medium. When an electric current flows through that medium, you will get filaments formed. And you've all seen that kind of thing in the novelty plasma balls. And one of the things you notice about the plasma balls is that the current inside those spheres flows in filaments. And that those filaments, if you look closely at the ends of them, appear to be twisting. Not only that, they move about as if they're almost alive. And this is one of the features mentioned in the report about the south polar vortexes on Venus. Because with six years of looking at the south polar vortex, it's been shown that the movement is always of two centers, two cyclones moving around and often connected by some kind of filament between the two, and that that motion is chaotic. So it has all of the features of, that you'd expect from the kinds of filaments you see in a novelty plasma ball. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.